Hello, today we're going to go over how to create a tent cloth using end cloth. So here you see the finished uh, version here. And um, I used uh, end cloth, I used um, uh, point constraints uh, through the end constraints function. And I also used uh, a coll colliders to create this effect. And we're gonna go through how I did it, kind of step by step. Now, I've already set up um, my basic uh, tent geo shape here. I just started with a plane, I rotated it, duplicated it, um, and uh, c combined it, merged vertices, all that fun stuff. And the most important, deleted history and froze transformation. So if you take a look at it, look at it right here, we can see that everything um, is in default. So let me actually turn off all of these things so that they are not a distraction. Let me save my scene. And we're also going to save it as version two, just in case Maya decides to be cantankerous. And uh, let's get started. So let's open it up. So I have my tent, uh, cross beams, um, and tent supports. Um, now, first thing you need to be aware of, you do need enough geo so that you get the cloth effect that you want. So I smoothed this, smoothed this twice to get the geometry that I want. All right, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go into FX, which we are currently in. Uh, with our tent selected, um, actually, let me uh, delete history. I did not delete all my, my history, and that would have been a problem. Um, so now we're going to go to end cloth, create end cloth. So initially, it's not going to look like um, anything has happened at all, right? So um, let's go to uh, my attribute editor. So we do have a nucleus here. Um, and we are going to uh, have our end cloth um, work, but what we need to do is go into our presets. So in my end cloth shape two, if you go to presets, you get all these options for what type of cloth you want. Now I picked silk replace, but you could do t-shirt, um, you could do beach ball, that would be interesting, heavy denim, I don't know why you choose lava, but you can. Um, plastic shell, putty, rubber sheet. There's all these different presets that you can use to get the fabric effect that you want. So I'm gonna do silk replace, okay. Um, now that I've done that, let's apply some gravity. So we, with um, uh, our end cloth selected, or our nucleus selected, actually let's make the nucleus visible. Yeah, it's probably the same nucleus. Um, with that selected, uh, thin cloth selected, we're gonna go to Fields Solver Gravity. And so now we have set a gravity field, which is good. So if we were to play, it should just fall. And there it is, it's falling. All right, so we don't want it to fall like that. We need it to be constrained to a number of things, okay? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to select these three cross beams and we want to go to end cloth, create passive collider. Okay, now let me save what I just did. And now let's see what effect we get. So now when we play, as you can see, the gravity is working and um, also the tent <laughs> is um, falling as if it's being influenced by these cross beams, which is great. So we want that, but we want to take it a step further. We also want these tent support to be holding up our tent as well. So this is how we are going to do that. So we're going to select our tent geo. I'm going to hit four. Uh, to go into um, wireframe mode, and then I'm going to hit F8 to go into component mode. Um, I'm going to press tab, and that's allow, going to allow me to really quickly select a bunch of vertices. 
And then I'm going to go over here to my outliner and I'm going to control select, um, oopsie, we want the supports, control select um, the corresponding support to the vertices. We're gonna go to end constraint, point to surface. If you did it correctly, then all of those vertices should turn green like this. Okay, so now we're gonna do the next side. And once again, uh, choosing tab, we're just gonna kind of go through and select all these. By the way, if you accidentally select some things you, you don't want, you keep tab pressed and you see the little minus sign, you can easily deselect just like that. All right, so now that we've done that, I am going to uh, control select the left tent support and go to um, end constraint, point to surface. And let's do the back as well. So once again, we're gonna select our tent geo. I'm gonna press tab, go on down, select all of the vertices I want. Now it might be that you don't want uh, the tent to um, actually be constrained to this bottom por portion. Maybe you don't. So we'll leave that bottom portion loose for, uh, or not selected for the, these back parts of the tent just to see what that effect is, okay? And then we are going to uh, go here, control select our right tent support and go to uh, end constraint point to surface and select our geo one last time, press tab and select the vertices we want selected a few I didn't want, right? Remember, they're pretty easy to deselect. And uh, control select our back L tent support and do N constraint point to surface. Okay, I'm gonna hit six on my keyboard. I'm also gonna hit save before I play. And then let's see what effect we have by playing. And there we go. So as you can see, we get this uh, nice kind of realistic or more realistic effect of how our cloth would hang um, if it were an actual tent. All right, that's it for today. Until next time, I'm Ayanna Drayson. Bye-bye.